So after watching this module, you will know how to install the Angular command line interface and create and run your first project. Uh, run your project with live reload and how to build your project for each environment and how to test your project with unit tests or end-to-end -end testing and how to create new pipes, uh, new components, services and so on. So let's get started. So first of all, I have uh, written a post uh, on the Angular command line interface uh, that you can use to follow this video. And uh, what you need to do is first install a node. If you haven't done that, get the latest version and then you also need Visual Studio Code to follow along. So we need to install Angular command line interface. So you do a node package manager install and then globally an Angular command line interface. This will install all the tools you need to start working with uh, the command line builder. And uh, once this is installed, uh, we can actually start creating our new project. So I'm just going to get rid of this one and what you do is you do uh, navigate to your developer folder and then uh, do ng new and the project name and this will create the project for you and once you have done that you should navigate into your uh, project folder. So now you do an ng serve and uh, what this does is compile the project and now you can run uh, the project within your environment. And uh, just to prove that actually this works with the Angular command line interface when you have created a new Angular 2 project, uh, we can look at how this project looks like. This is the starter template delivered from the command line interface. So it works. So let's stop this for a second and then go into the project and see what actually is created. So open Visual Studio Code and uh, navigate to your folder uh, and uh, this will open the project and what we'll look at is the package. So here are the dependencies for this project. This is out of the box. So of course you have the Angular uh, command line interface uh, dependency. It's still in beta, but it's rapidly changing now. So we have Jasmine, Karma, Protector, and uh, this is for testing. So it's also created uh, an index file for you of course and uh, the main this is the bootstrapping of your application and you have the app folder so you have an app module and you have uh, an app component to start up your uh, application and everything is set up pretty straightforward uh, and what you should dig into is the environment because you now can have like different build environments so if you want to build for development you can and if you want to build for production you can do that as well and uh, you can set up the different environments to your liking. So I'm actually going to show you uh, how to build. So you do ng build and this will do the the default environment setup so this will actually just build your source code and uh, this is one way of doing this and you'll get this uh, distribution folder with your index file and everything is bundled up now for you so it's super convenient so if you want to build for production, you do ng build and, and then you'll add the production. And uh, now it uh, will sort of compress uh, a, a, a lot more and build this so that it's ready for release. And you could push this to your server and you can see that we get different files here. You can actually also use the ahead of time uh, compiler here 
and what you do is ng build and then for production and then you'll add the AOT which is the ahead of time compiler now the the project will be compiled for production and uh, run with the ahead of time compiler so now what about testing? Uh, let's dig into unit testing. So uh, Angular command line interface comes uh, out of the box with uh, uh, using Karma and uh, Jasmine and it creates also for you uh, a test. So this is, would be sort of a demo testing uh, unit test so that you can try this out on your own do an ng test and this will run the project and run a, a test for you so you could actually see if the test is passing or not so you can debug this as well and this is running now so this is running uh, well you when, when, and will detect your changes as well while you run this so it's convenient and by the way, if you don't want to have this watch going on, then you could actually do a watch equals false. And then this will only run uh, once and you could see if the test passes or not. So end-to-end uh, -end testing is also provided for you by the Angular command line interface. And uh, uh, this is run via Protractor with WebDriver Manager. As a helper tool for getting an instance of Selenium server running. So here you can see that uh, there's set up an end-to-end -end, uh, uh, test for you and uh, you could actually then uh, run and create your own tests of course and, and simulate being a user. So the way you run this is you do ng serve because you have to start the 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 project first before you run this end-to-end uh, -end testing. And once this is up and running, you have to open a new command prompt and do an ng e2e. And this will run the end-to-end -end test for you as you have specified and give a report uh, whether the tests are passed uh, or not. So it's super simple and super convenient. So the next thing we want to look at is how can we create a component, a class and everything. So here is a sample of component you do ng g component and the name of the component this is ng generate component and this is a convenient way because it creates like all the files you need for the component the css the html and even the test uh, the unit test file and uh, plugs sort of a shell so you can get started here uh, and uh, on top of that, it actually adds the, the, the references to your app uh, module, your, your Angular module. So it's so fast to actually create a component this way. And uh, uh, just for you guys that are new in Angular 2, I'm going to show you how we can sort of plug this uh, component onto the page. And I'll do an ng serve. This is to run, uh, build and run our application. And uh, uh, I've added this component now into our sort of our main page. And as you can see, demo works. This comes from our component here. So say you want to create a, a service, you'll go about that the, exactly the same way. So you do an ng generate. Uh, service and then the name of the service and this will create uh, the service uh, file for you and also create the unit test file so in some cases you may want to uh, your browser to reload when you change your code using live uh, reload so you could do that with ng serve and then your host and the port, you will set this to 4201 and then do a live reload uh, on another port. 
So doing this, you will now uh, see all your changes in your code uh, live in your browser. So if we navigate to 4201 and then change something in our new component, like demo, reload, save this, it will be updated in our browser. So you should be aware of that the Angular command line interface is in beta and changing rapidly. So uh, you should check for this and uninstall and sort of reinstall to get uh, the latest so that you're up to date uh, at any given time. And uh, they're, they're posting on their site as well all, all their updates, of course. So thank you for watching and this is where you can reach me.